I'm going to show you how to create a value scale using coffee. So today I'm going to make some different values in five different yogurt cups using instant coffee. You can use espresso coffee for this as well, a really strong black espresso coffee, but instant coffee works really well and it's pretty quick at hand. So I'm going to put increasingly more coffee in each bowl. Now I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm not really measuring it, but I'm definitely trying to get more in my last bowl. Let's put these in order. You don't have to do five, you can do four. The objective here is to have a really distinct value difference between all five bowls. And I'm going to add a little bit of water into each. I'm going to start with a spoon. You can always adjust this once they dissolve and you see what kind of value you have. I'm going to add a little more in my first one because I want that one really diluted. Hardly any color at all. The difference between one and five should be really strong. But we won't know what it looks like until we paint on paper with it. I'm going to draw a value scale. I'm going to draw five boxes. You don't have to use a ruler for this. And the boxes don't have to be perfectly even either. It really doesn't matter. You could, if you want, label it. I'm going to start with my first value. I'm just using a flat brush. There's my first value. You want to leave a little space here so that your water doesn't blend into the next box. I'm going to take my second value. And I'm going to take my third value. My fourth value. And my fifth value. You can see that when I add extra layers, it gets increasingly darker. But I think that with even out adding extra layers, there's a pretty clear distinction between one through five. Maybe three and four are a little bit similar. So if I'm doing a painting, I might just choose to use one, two, and five. That might be enough. Or one, two, three, and five. I don't have to use all five. I can just use the three or four that I think have the greatest value range. The other thing you can do is I could add a little more coffee to four and a little more coffee to five to darken those ranges up a bit more. You can add extra layers on top. And the more layers you add on top, the darker and darker the value will get. Now I'm going to try this again using my four values of coffee. So I've combined values three and four into this pot and I've added a little extra coffee to pot number five. So let's see if I can get a stronger distinction in value between value one and four. So again, number one has not changed. It's exactly the same as here, very, very light. Number two is definitely darker than number one, but it's still pretty light. Number three is a combination of three and four from up here with a little bit of extra coffee in it. So you can see that's clearly darker than number two. And number five is my darkest value, and that's definitely dark. So I think I'm happy with these. I think if I start a painting, I will use these four values.
And again, when this dries, I can add extra layers and it'll just get darker and darker and darker. You can achieve almost a black if you keep on layering, but you have to let your layers dry underneath. So I'm gonna let that sit and dry. 